So, pulled her ass out, put her in arm bars, slammed her to the ground, got her in custody. How old is she? She said she's 18. Okay. So she's gonna go to jail. South Whitley, Indiana. On January 25th, 2024, an 18-year-old local girl, Vivian Augustus, was driving her vehicle when she was stopped by South Whitley police officer, Brian Schimmel. She then pulled her car into a gas station. This is the gas station security footage. It shows Officer Schimmel not wasting any time. Within one minute and 30 seconds, he has, by his own admission, taken this young girl out of her car with force, put her in an arm bar, and slammed her to the ground. But of course, too often, officers are judged on their actions alone, and that just isn't fair. If you judged any grown man based on their action of pulling a young woman from her car and then drop slamming her to the ground, you might be inclined to believe that that man is a coward. But this police officer, Schimmel, had a great explanation for his actions. Let's see that now. What do you got? Pull over for headlight speed. Okay. Cracks her window. Mm -hmm. Ask her to roll down the rest of the way. Cracks it another half inch. Ask her to exit. She refuses to exit until I tell her why. Tell her about four or five times to exit the vehicle. You don't want to go down this route. Refuse to exit. So, pulled her ass out, put her in arm bars, slammed her to the ground, got her in custody. How old is she? She said she's 18. Okay. So she's going to go to jail. A few things to understand about this case. Cracking your window during a traffic stop is not illegal. With regards to the officer asking her to step out of the vehicle, according to the Clenburn Law website, under Pennsylvania v. Mims, a U.S. Supreme Court case, a police officer is allowed to remove you from the car if he or she feels unsafe during a lawful traffic stop. Meaning that this officer, Brian Schimmel, inherently claimed to feel unsafe in the presence of Vivian Augustus, who is again 18 years of age and no more than 110 pounds. This behavior is shameful. The local news ran a short segment on this incident. Here is that now. The South Whitley Police Department is responding to a viral video showing one of its officers making an abrupt arrest at a gas station. Family of the young driver posted a combination of surveillance and body camera footage on YouTube late this week. They gave us permission to share it tonight. The video is dated from January 24th and it shows a uniformed officer opening the driver's door and pulling the young woman out of the car before pinning her to the ground less than two minutes into the traffic stop. You can see the video there now. The driver is charged with speeding and failing to identify herself. In the video, the officer can then be heard telling the driver that she had one headlight out and was going seven miles per hour over the speed limit. Here's his explanation to a fellow officer later. She refuses to exit until I tell her why. Tell her about four or five times to exit the vehicle. You don't want to go down this route. Refuse to exit. So, pulled her ass out, put her in arm bars, slammed her to the ground, got her in custody. How old is she? She said she's 18. Okay. So she's going to go to jail. Now, the South Whitley Police Department shared a statement this weekend saying, in part, the reasonableness of the officer's actions is being reviewed, but they point out that the video is edited and it is a crime to refuse to identify yourself during a traffic stop. They refer all questions to a law firm. In less than three days now, that video has already amassed more than 10,000 views online. While it is a crime to not provide identifying information to a police officer when that officer has reasonable, articulable suspicion, we have no evidence to believe that Vivian refused to identify. Unless you count Officer Schimmel's report as evidence. But conveniently for the South Whitley Police, the body-worn camera that Brian was supposed to have on was allegedly off, raising further questions with regards to the legitimacy of these charges and Brian Schimmel's actions on that day. After this incident, Vivian was hauled away to jail where she was held for ransom by county officials, all of whom swore to uphold and protect Vivian's rights. The ransom was set at over $1,000 according to mycaseindiana.gov. Vivian sat in a cage for four days until her family paid the ransom and was reunited with their daughter. Cases like this, while the legal system in America does everything they can from a clever use of semantics to continuances in the courts in an attempt to legitimize the actions of government officials, it is clear for all to see that what happened to Vivian on that day was criminal in nature. The perpetrator of the crime was Brian Schimmel. The South Whitley Police Department, in response to this incident, took their website down, changed their phone number to that of the Sheriff's Department dispatch, but luckily I have secured the South Whitley PD's real number 
it will be included in the comment section of this video in the description along with their Facebook page. We wanted to call the PD to figure out exactly why Vivian was violently slammed to the ground. But in light of their recent phone number change on Google, we had to be pretty tactful to get in touch with them. I called and left a message, and then they called me back. Here is that call now. Hey, this is Sergeant Johnson with the South Hill Police Department. I had a voicemail to give you a call. Yeah, hi, Sergeant Johnson. How are you doing today? I'm good. Good. I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. I saw, a, I saw a disturbing video, man, where this young girl was giving one of your officers some problems. And I just wanted to tell you, man, I'm sick of seeing it myself. I, I wanted to tell you that I support your actions wholeheartedly. I can't stand that these people are out here thinking that they, they can keep their window just cracked during a traffic stop. That must be the most difficult part of the job to deal with these people. Yeah, it's frustrating sometimes, but technically they don't have to roll them all the way down. They, they don't? No, you just have to be able to conversate with the officer and get the paperwork passed between. Oh. Okay. Wow. Well, man, I was, um, I, I me, mean, yeah, I understand that. What was the, what was the issue with that, with that girl? Then if, I guess if she didn't roll the window down, what was the issue? Uh, she failed to give the officer her identification. Oh, okay. Okay, I, yeah, I understand that, man. I mean, I. That's definitely a good, I, I'll tell you what, as a matter of fact, I was walking through the Walmart the other day, man, and I saw this guy kind of giving me the eyes, and I looked at him, and I was like, hey, man, you better tell me who you are, you know, you don't know who you're messing with, and he wouldn't give me his ID, so that was when I decided, and I'm not a police officer, so I didn't do it, but I tell you, I wanted to body slam him to the ground just as bad, you know what I, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it gets frustrating, but. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, so. Man, I just wanted to tell you, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I don't really care what the law says. I'm just saying, as far as I'm concerned, people keep giving your guys trouble. You keep body slamming them to the ground. I wanted you to, to tell that Officer Schimmel that I said congratulations. And um, I, I wanted to know, is that guy going to get, like, some paid time off? Or is he, like, while he's being investigated, just so that it makes it a little bit easier on him? Or is he still, out, is he still having to go work while he's going through all this? He's actually on vacation at the moment. Okay. Well, that's good to hear, man. I'm really glad to hear that. Well, thanks thanks a lot, Sergeant, for everything that you do. And, uh, you know, back the blue. I'm, I'm here for you guys. So if you guys ever need somebody to, to lean on or anything, you've got my number. You give me a phone call, okay? All right. Thanks for your support. Yep. Thanks a lot, brother. You take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye. We are now going to show you what was said after the editing team. <clears throat> I mean... Brian Schimmel turned his body-worn camera on. Here is that footage now. Give me your other hand. It didn't have to be like this. One detained. All right, get up. Roll over on your butt. I have a knee injury. Please help me out. Which knee's hurt? No, I have a knee injury. Okay, ready? We're gonna count three. One, two, three, up. How old are you? 18. Good job, you're going to jail. Well, can you, can you Refusing grab... to identify. Can you please grab my things for me? Your what? Can you please grab my phone and my license for me? Yep. Take a seat. And my keys. Take a seat. This is about 65.5. I've got her in custody in the back seat of my vehicle. Just continue me one unit. All right, Vivian. Are you injured in any way? Would you like the medics to check you out? No. Okay. I'm going to read you your Miranda rights, okay? I have to read these to you since you're in custody, all right? This is your Miranda warning. Before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. 
Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and have them with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand your rights? Okay, I'm not going to ask you any questions right now. What I am going to tell you is you're pulled over for your speed and your headlight, okay? Your speed was 37 and 30, not that big of a deal, and your headlight was out on your driver's side. It's pulling you over to let you know. If you would have just given me your license and your registration like I asked you to do, you would have gone away for warning tonight. Okay, but however, since you decided <clears throat> to pull this right here where you don't want to comply, you don't want to give me your ID, and you think you're going to run the scene, you're now going to jail. Do you understand? I was trying to give you my ID. You were not. How many times did I ask you? You were not. I've got a body cam on. It'll show you not pulling your ID out. When I ask you to step out of the vehicle, you step out of the vehicle. You don't get to sit there and tell me how I'm going to do my job. Do you understand? Let me know what you think about this story in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Craig Hendry with the Hendry Media Group. We'll see you in the next video.